My name's Stuart Brunt. Today I'm going to talk about how to hook up and wire together a Fluke digital multimeter, a heart field calibrator, and a pressure transmitter uh, so that we can calibrate a pressure transmitter and perform a nine-point calibration test. Okay, so first of all, um, in this situation we are measuring pressure, so that is why we are using a PSI as our engineering units. Um, this right here would represent a, a controlled pressurized system where when you turn this knob you're gonna have an equal amount of pressure coming here as you are here. It's the same amount of pressure would be leaving. So whenever we want to hook these devices together we're gonna start with our Fluke digital multimeter. And what we have here is in the top center of the Fluke Digital Multimeter there is a, a port that allows you to connect what we call a pressure module in conjunction such that we can connect a pressure system that will be transduced into a from a PSI to a 4 to 20 milliamp uh, direct current signal okay so pressure is being read here and then this device is transducing that pressure into a current that the fluke can now use and read this is going to come in handy later okay so next we have the pressure transmitter this is the device that we are mainly focusing on all of these other components are here so that we can accurately calibrate and test this device so that when we unhook everything and we have it set up in a process it's working correctly and we know it okay so the pressure transmitter is hooked up to our controlled pressure system and <clears throat> it's also going to be hooked up to the heart field calibrator. Okay, this is very important for calibrating and for analyzing any of the uh, prominent attributes of our transmitter. Through this device, we're going to be able to use something called a hybrid protocol that's going to allow us to go online and examine many uh, characteristics, but most importantly, the lower range value, the upper range value the engineering units and the model number of this transmitter. We're going to be able to record and see what was this was last used for and we're also going to be able to adjust them these values and change the uh, characteristics of this transmitter so that we can um, have it perform um, in a desired way in a new way. Okay so, importantly, we're going to need to hook up our pressure, our positive to the positive side, our positive lead of our flute to the positive um, terminal on our pressure transmitter. The negative lead will go to a negative terminal on the pressure transmitter. And the top of this uh, heart device is going to have a plug, which is going to branch into a cable that also connects to the positive and negative leads. It's going to be very important also that in the negative uh, region, I didn't put this in, you're going to have to have in series a 250 ohm resistor. Okay, That's going to uh, be necessary in order for this to work correctly. Okay, <clears throat> so now this is the way it works. You're going to turn this knob, pressure is going to come out. A certain amount of pressure is going to come here, and that same pressure is also going to come out of here. This is going to convert that pressure into a signal, which is going to be read by this. This transmitter is going to read a pressure, and depending on the upper range value and the lower range value, it's going to produce a proportional signal of, of milliamp direct current that it is going to send to the fluke 
So what we're looking to see here is that on our table here, we have calculated what our target output would be for a given amount of milliamp direct current. So, as we can see, our lower range value is zero. Our upper range value is 12.5 PSI. We used our heart device to program this into the pressure transmitter. So, now, let's say that we are reading on our fluke device 4 milliamps of current. What does that mean? Well, what that should mean is that since that is our lower range value, 4 PSI, or 4 milliamps of current, would represent 0 PSI. So, let's say that we're reading on here that the transmitter is sending a 9 point, let's say it's sending 16 uh, milliamps of current. We know that the transmitter is sensing 9.4 PSI. And as we can see, if it's sending 20 milliamps of current, it's going to, it should be sensing 12.5 PSI. And we can verify that the correct PSI is being represented because we're also sensing the pressure through this transducer, through this pressure module. Now it's important to know that before you hook up your pressure module to the pressure, you're going to zero this device. There's a button on your fluke that you hit one time and it zeroes the device. That's important. Okay, so in this situation, after I've given this transmitter a URV and up and uh, LRV and URV, and we've gone through um, something that we call a nine point calibration test where we checked to make sure that the pressure was what it was supposed to be. So we would see, this is where we verified to make sure that the transmitter is working correctly. And we do this, a nine point calibration, so that we can work our way from zero to 25 to 50, 75, up to 100% of the signal, and then back down to zero to make sure that it can work on its way up and on its way down. And in this situation, everything worked out just correctly. There was no error. So I hope that this helps. Um, if anything, this will help you to wire this up correctly. Um, and I know that there's many questions that may rise um, and I will try to help you if I can but um, I hope this was helpful um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the links below alright thank you